I looked at this signal generator module in videos 57 and 59 and if you watch those videos you'll remember that I was having some trouble driving this through the serial interface because you you can I mean it's quite a good little module and it produces nice square waves over a wide range of, of frequencies and you can set it using these four buttons uh, these four controls actually set into the module but it also has a serial interface which you can use to uh, read the settings of the module and to change the settings and that's the part that I was really interested in because I wanted to be able to connect it to something like the Arduino here and be able to remotely control it. So the problem here was that I, di I didn't know how to format the data. There, there's some basic information about the commands you can use on the, the website at IC Station and you can see the same documentation in various places around the net. Um, but it didn't seem to work and I couldn't figure out how to how to frame the data and how to terminate the data to make it work. But um, I got an interesting email from Andy in Scandinavia who gave me a, a clue as to what I was doing wrong. And uh, I'll talk about it in more detail in a minute, but basically the commands that you send mustn't have a carriage return at the end. And that's where I was going wrong before when I was testing. So once again, I've got the Arduino. I'm using the Arduino as the serial interface for the module, which allows me to load some software in here. I'm using the uh, software serial example that you get in the Arduino library so that uh, I can talk to one serial interface using the PC and then I can manipulate the data in the, in the script and uh, send slightly different data to the module. And I'll show you the changes that I made to software serial in, in a moment so that you can see what it is that I've done there. But first of all, uh, let me give you a demonstration. So I'll, I'll switch to the PC so that you can see the Arduino serial monitor window and also see the, um, the logic analyzer screen uh, so that you can see what the data actually looks like traveling over these wires. So that this is why I've got this sort of rat's nest of wires here because I have the, the logic analyzer connected in between these devices also. As you see, I'm using the Arduino serial monitor here. So COM5 is actually now connecting into uh, an Arduino Uno and that in turn is connected to my uh, frequency generator here. And you'll see, let me just give you a demo. So if I use some of the commands that are documented for, for this. So if I say read, for example, so it says F775. So the frequency is 775 hertz. And then the duty cycle is 44%. So I can digitally read back the, the values from the um, signal generator, which is really useful. And I can also set the values. So if I say uh, duty cycle 20%, so down is the response that the module gives when, um, uh, when it's accepted the parameters that you put in. So you see on the display now, that's switched to 20%. I could switch it back to 50% like so. There we go, 50% duty cycle. Similarly, it's possible for me to set the frequency. So if I say F 1.04, so that's just over one kilohertz, you'll see the frequency generator now has switched to 1.04 kilohertz. So basically all the, all the documented parameters are now working and um, basically this, the secret to make that happen is to just send that string, the F775 or whatever, um, w without sending any kind of terminator. So there's no cache return at the end, there's no line feed. Um, so the module just seems to want to see a string of contiguous characters but no carriage return terminator. And I can show you that on the logic analyzer. If I start the logical logic analyzer here, and um, once again, I could do read. 
and I get the values back uh, F1.04 and D050 so the logic analyzers captured something there you can see um, my command going out read so it's just R E A D no terminator so no no cache return there and then in response we get the string coming back from the module uh, F 1.04 uh, line feed D 050 line feed so the so the module sends line feeds in order to make the output look better but on the the text that you send to it you must not send a cache return or a line feed because that causes the module to say fail so this is the software that I've been using so this is a, a copy of the software serial script that you can get in the standard Arduino library so I've changed it slightly because what happens with the standard script is that uh, here when a, a character is available from the PC it immediately then reads it and sends it uh, across to the device so so in this case the device being the uh, frequency generator but I don't want that I want to collect up all of the characters until I have a, a complete block up to the end of the line where I hit a carriage return so what I'm doing here is, is I read the character um, if it isn't a cache return so if we go down here so any normal character that you start typing like uh, F105 or whatever the characters just get stored in this array here called buff so you just have all of the characters stacked up one after another and then finally on the PC when you hit carriage return you get in here and what happens is it closes off the, the string so this uh, forgets the carriage return ever happened and then it does a, a print out to the uh, to the device so this is just sending the characters that have been sent uh, excluding the carriage return so um, so if I type F105 carriage return then all that gets sent here is the F105 and they go in one continuous burst out to the frequency generator which seems to be important to to make this work I'm also ignoring line feeds here because the line feeds don't add any value so I just discard them and if we go up to the uh, the script setup at the beginning here um, you can see so my serial is the software serial port and it's using ports 10 and 11 on the Arduino so 10 and 11 are the ones that I wire up to the transmit and the receive respectively of the frequency generator module in order to to, to get it to um, communicate with the Arduino So once again, thanks for watching. I hope if you have one of these modules or you're thinking of buying one that you have uh, success with making yours work as well. And if you like this, stay subscribed for more videos, like and share. I'd appreciate it if you did. And uh, see you in the next video.